Wilfredo Maguerrero. Wilfredo Maguerrero was born in Ermita, Manila on January 22, 1910. He was a theater educator who established the UP Mobile Theater and conceptualized the theater campus tour wherein the theater group would perform at various schools. So si Wilfredo, usa siya ka theater educator nga nag-establish sa UP Mobile Theater which is Kani nga UP Mobile Theater is simple with a retractable set and a few actors and crew. So this group will journey to different provinces in the country to entertain the communities. So during his 19 years as a director of UP Mobile Theater, he oversaw around 2,500 performances. So imagine how brilliant and capable si Wilfredo as a director kay na oversaw niya around 2,500 performances. So here I will introduce you some of his major works. Half an hour in a convent, the three rats, our strange ways, the forsaken house, frustrations, Wanted a chaperon. So, kani nga mga major works ni Wilfredo Maguerrero is na well-known na jud siya and na-perform na ni siya sa mga student sa mga schools. And even on the stage. So, this picture shows the half an hour in a convent wherein this is a theater video and they perform this in their school. So next artist is Rolando Estinho. Rolando Estinho was a prolific writer and playwright. He was responsible in bringing plays and production that revived the sarsuela and modern dramas. So si Rolando is also a prolific artist, author, writer, and dramatist. And it was up to him to bring production and plays that brought back the sarsuela and contemporary western plays. So here, this is all his major works. He has poetry collection, film scripts, and theater works. So in poetry collection, he has Sit Sit Sa Kuliglig, Dunung Dunungan, Crystal Na Universo, A Trick of Mirrors. Sa film script naman ay Now and Forever, Gamitin Mo Ako, Bayad Puri, at Milagros. His theater works are the Ang Mistisa, Ang Kere, Ana Maria, Orosman at Zafera, at Ang Larawan. So, eto lahat ang mga major works na nagawa ni Rolando Estinio. At dito, ito yung mga picture ng mga poetry collection niya, film script at ang theater works. Next is Levi Celerio. So, Levi Celerio was born in Tondo, Manila on April 30, 1910. He is one of the most prolific composer and lyricist in the history of the Philippine music, having authored more than 4,000 songs. So, si Levi Celerio di ay is composer siya o kanta and naka na siya more than 4,000 songs. And with that, he was the only person in the world to make music by just using lyf. So, imagine how brilliant and talented he was na makahimo siya music gamit lang ang dahon. And here mauni ang mga major works nga nahimo ni Levi Celerio, mga kanta nga nahimo niya. Pasko na naman, ang Pasko ay sumapit, kahit konting pagtingin, dungawin mo hirang, tinig ng bayan, at lastly, basta't mahal kita. So, maunitan na ng mga kanta nga nahimo ni Levi Celerio. Next is Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez. He was born in Romblon, Romblon in September 8, 1915. Better known as NVM Gonzalez, was a writer that specialized in fiction. His works depicted the trials and avails of the Filipino in both rural and urban settings. 
So, ang mga nabuhat ni NVM Gonzales ay naglalarawan ng mga pagsubok at pakinabang ng mga Pilipino na nakatira sa rural at urban na bansa. Here, ito yung mga major works na nagawa ni NVM Gonzales. The Wind of April, Seven Hills Away, Children of the Ash Covered Loam and Other Stories, The Bamboo Dancers, Look Stranger on This Island Now, Mindoro and Beyond, 21 Stories, The Bread of Salt and Other Stories, Work on the Mountain, The Novel of Justice, Selected Essay, 1968 to 1994. So, mauni na novels, ang mga major works nga nabuhat ni NVM Gonzalez. So, all these major works depicted the trials and avails of the Filipino in both rural and urban settings. Arturo Laz is an artist who expresses himself in many different visual art forms such as painting, sculpture, print, and etc. So his pieces often make use of simple collection of lines and shape masterfully composed to create abstract masterpieces that reveal sophistication and simplicity. So si Arturo Laz is na express niya yung self through painting, sculpture, and print. So, ang work or ang pieces ni Arturo Laz is more on simple collection of lines and shape and shapes that kanang makahimu na siya o ganang abstract pieces gihapon ang true lines and shape nga kanang simple collection ni Arturo Laz. And for him, simplicity is always easy to understand. So, all his work is made of simple collection. He also established the Laz Gallery that paved the way for the professionalization of the gallery system in the country. Tungod sa daghanag na himo nga pieces, si Arturo Laz is naka-establish siya o iyahang own Laz Gallery nga ma-display dito ang iyahang mga painting and mapakita sa daghang tao. So here mao ni ang mga major work ni Arturo Laz. Bagong Taon, Skipping Rope, Candle Vendors, Night Glows, Cities of the Past, Imaginary Landscape, Black and White Immoral, Jarlet Number no. 5. So here mao ni ang mga picture sa mga painting ni Arturo Laz. So, makita na ito nga simple ra ang iyang painting o dali ra yapon masabtan. Next is Jose Maceda. Jose Maceda is accomplished composer, performer, and teacher. So, his greatest contribution to the Philippine music is his passion to understand and study the various forms and examples of traditional music found all over the archipelago. So, ang pinakadako nga contribution ni Jose Maceda sa musika ng Pilipinas ay ang kaniyang mahilig na maunawaan at pag-arala ng iba't ibang anyo at halimbawa ng tradisyonal na musika na matatagpuan sa buong kapuluan. He traveled all over the country and conducted research and recorded sample of traditional Filipino music. Tungod ang passion ni Jose Maceda is mag uh, ganahan siya nga masabtan o mapag-aralan niya ang mga uh, different nga traditional music sa archipelago is kanang mo travel siya o mga country and nagkundak siya mga research and nag record gihapon siya sa kanang different sample sa ilang mga traditional Filipino music. And then, ang major works ni Jose Maceda is Ugma-Ugma, Pagsamba, Udlot-Udlot, Agungan, Kubing, Ugnayan, og Ading. So, maunitanan ta- ang major works or mga kanta nga nahimo ni Jose Maceda. Next is Carlos L. Quirino. Carlos L. Quirino was born in Vigan City, Ilocosur on January 40, 1910, and he was a historian and biographer. So, si Carlos Quirino de Ay is kanang nag-study siya and nag-write siya about the past and he's regarded as an authority on it. 
He is also recognized for having written one of the earliest biographies of the hero Jose Rizal entitled The Great Malayan. So, na recognize si Carlos L. Quirino because uh, na siya ay siyang unang nakasulat sa biography sa ato ang hero nga si Dr. Jose Rizal nga ang entitled The Great Malayan. He also penned and other books pertaining to the culture and history of the Philippines. So daghan na ang iyahang nahimo og gihapon pertaining sa history of the Philippines. So nasulat na niya sa mga libro. His works are valid and expensive including the trials of Andres Bonifacio and Emilio Aguinaldo's biography. So, ang iyahang work is katanggap-tanggap jud and very expensive. Kaya ang iyahang manggi include ang mga trials o mga ipangagian nga mga challenges gihapon nila. Andres Bonifacio and Emilio Aguinaldo's Toward or Peace gihapon. So, ang mga major works ni Carlos L. Quirino is Maps and Views of the Old Manila, Quezon Man of Destiny, Magsaysay of the Philippines, Lives of the Philippines President, Philippine Cartography, The History of the Philippine Sugar Industry, Filipino Heritage, The Making of a Nation, Filipino at War, The Fight for Freedom for Mactan Edsa. So, maunitanan ang mga uh, major works nga nahimu ni Carlos L. Quereno. This is all about the history of our uh, country. And naisulat gihapon diri ang mga trials sa atong mga hero back then. So, diri, mauning mga pictures sa mga libro gihapon nga na sulat ni Carlos L. Quirino. Makita na to ang The Great Malayan, The Old Manila, The Magsaysay Story, and The Philippine Cartography. So, mauni mga picture sa libro nga nahimo ni Carlos L. Quirino. Next is J. Elizalde Navarro. He was born in San Jose, Antique on May 22, 1924. He was a visual artist who specialized in painting and sculptures. His sculptural hardwood mass combined animals and human. His paintings are often made of abstract figures and his assemblage are composition of found object and metals. So, si Navarro is artist siya and maayo siya mo painting and sculptures. And also, uh, his uh, sculptural hard work is combined of animals and human. And not just that, is kanang ang iyang work is made up of abstract figures and composition of found object and metals. He is also known for his incision painting techniques in which he would cut out patterns on a stone surface. So, si Elizarde, some of his works are uh, sculpture and painting and uh, composition siya sa mga bagay nga makita ni mo and also and he also know how to cut, cut out patterns on a stone surfaces. So, the major works of Elizalde Navarro are The Season, Morning Miss Over Ubud Valley, I'm sorry, Jesus, I can't attend Christmas this year. Homage to Dodgy Laurel, a flying contraption for Mr. Ekarus. So, ito, mauning mga pictures and mga pictures sa iyang painting and sculpture nga nahimo ni Elizalde. Makita na to ang mga combination sa mga object and mga metals gihapon. And we can see the sculpture that he has made. So, maunitanan iyahang major works. 